Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to go through my August favorites and fails. I have tried a plethora of things this month and I have loved every minute of doing it, but in that there has been some things that I have loved and then there's been some things I'm like kind of like mediocre about and then the dun dun dun, you are a fail, I hate you, get out of my collection. I don't hate you, but I mean, it doesn't have any feelings anyway, it's a makeup product. First things first, this mascara is life. I have used it every single day since my birthday. I'm obsessed with it. This is the new mascara from Lancome. It's Monsieur Big or like Mr. Big from like Sex and the City. So cute. When I first saw this, I was like, I oh, don't know, that wand looked like it could possibly be kind of clumpy. Me and clumpy don't get along. I almost kind of like a slightly more drier formula so I can keep building and building and building. And that is what I can do with this mascara. I love Too Faced Better Than Sex, Chanel La Volume, Dior Show. Those are like my three three go-to's and then of course MAC Extended Play because my bottom lashes, I'm a pain in the brat. Did I just say I'm a pain in the brat? I am a pain in the butt. <laughs> Anywho, this mascara I tried as a sample and I tried it on my birthday and I immediately went out and got it. It does not flake on me. It's almost like the better than sex but better than the better than sex if that's possible. I'm pretty sure it's possible because this is like now my absolute favorite mascara in the entire world. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna dry up a little quicker than normal, but I don't even care because I can keep layering. My lashes get so big, so like fluffy, but thick and lengthened and it's just amazing. You have to try this mascara. It is to die for. I have a few brushes I am currently in love with. One of them are from Artiste. This is the Linear One. I've been using this to line my lash line. Typically, I like to use like a darker shadow to line my lashes and sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult to get in there, especially like an angled brush or like a 210 something from MAC. This guy is so thin and I just hold it like this and I'm able to kind of wiggle back and forth. It is a lifesaver. This makes it so much easier and it's perfect. It's also really great for the brows if you use powder, so I'm just saying. And then the other two brushes are from Chanel. These are brand new, so they have done away with their previous brushes. Let me grab one. They used to have a matte black handle and then a silver ferrule. Now they have all black and it's shiny and beautiful and sleek and I, oh my god, I love it so much. This is the powder brush and I, you can use it for powder, you can use it for bronzer, you can use it for blush and that's what I've been using it for because it just puts it on and blends it out so beautifully. And I don't know about you, but I can get pretty crazy with my blush. I love blush. So this kind of, kind of softens it up a little bit and it just, it blends it as it goes. It's so beautiful, so soft. Gorgeous job. The other one is from Chanel as well, and this is just eyeshadow. It is a domed, can you kind of see a tip here? I can get in right in the crease when I need to. I've been using it for highlight my brow bone. I used it today for highlight here and then bridge here and here. I just, it's so soft, and I like this kind of shape. I don't have a lot of this in my collection, so when I saw it, I was like, yep, you're coming home with me. I have tried several foundations this month, and this one is the one that really spoke out to me. I feel like it is beautiful on the skin. It is what I'm wearing right now. The color is perfect. It's long wearing, and I'm talking about the YSL All Hours Foundation. The shade I am wearing is B40. Gorgeous, you guys. I get so many compliments when I wear this makeup, and like I said in my review of this, the very first time I wore it to work, someone was like, you're wearing a different foundation. I'm like, yes, I am. And they're like, it's beautiful. I'm like, I know, right? <laughs> It says it has up to 24 hour wear. I don't really get that much wear out of it, but it is long enough wearing for me to be able to wear it to work and stuff, so I'm gravy and I just think it looks so good on the skin. Let's talk about some lipstick. So Anastasia Beverly Hills just came out with a new formula or a new lipstick in general because she didn't have anything other than the liquid lipsticks and the glosses. So now she has matte lipsticks and they look like this, this here. She actually sent me the entire box, like I died. Oh my God, I died. You see this? Oh my God. <laughs> but this formula, I had bought Honey by itself, like I wanted to try one of them and I would have bought several more 
but then it got in the mail and I was like, okay. If you like a matte, and I mean a matte lipstick, more matte than MAC, I feel like I'm in a tongue twister right now, <laughs> but more matte than MAC matte, <laughs> you will like this lipstick. And my favorite thing about it is, I don't always like to have matte on my lips, but sometimes if you put a gloss on top of a matte lipstick, they crumble apart, they kind of start to separate, they lose a little bit of color in the center of your lips. I've had this on for over two hours, I wanna say, Nothing has moved. I love it so much. So what I like to do is I pick out my color and the three colors that I've been wearing this month because I have not even swatched all of those. My favorites have been Staunch. And this is actually what I have on right now with um, MAC Mineralize Gloss, which I believe are being discontinued in Raya Sunshine. And then Honey. This is actually the one that I bought myself. That's there. This is like... Oh, this is so much shade right here and I don't mean to, but I've got to say it. And this is peachy. So these are like my three go-tos for this month. Basically how I feel is that, I mean absolutely no shade because I love MAC. I love MAC, that's where I originated, like that's what got me into makeup, but I have wanted MAC to update their colors in a permanent range. So they did it with their liquid lipsticks, like they knocked it out of the park with those colors. You know, kind of almost had a little bit more of the gray tones to them, or you may maybe lose a little of the pink that's in them. Their matte lipsticks that are currently out, though, I feel like they need to be updated a little bit. Like, they're all great, don't get me wrong, but like, Honey is a an updated version of MAC Velvet Teddy. There's another one that's, I feel like, an updated version of Whirl. Just like, it needed to be tweaked a little bit, and I feel like Anastasia did it with these colors. They are so good. I have one eyeshadow palette to talk about, and I feel like you guys probably already know because I was so excited when I used it, and it's what's on my eyes right now. I love this, and I've worn it to work, and people are like, oh my god, your eyes look so good, and they're thinking that it's something they can buy there, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, but it's so pretty, I have to wear it. <laughs> this is from Marc Jacobs, and this is the 750 Editorial Palette. These blend so well, they're so pigmented, beautiful shadows, like even these right here, the like more metallic shades, you do not even need Fix Plus for them. I am kind of getting a little bit irritated with brands right now and their shimmer shadows. Like, aren't they the easier ones? It, or is it just me? Do I just think that? I thought that the shimmery shades were like the easier ones to make and mattes were more difficult. Now it's like I can get a good matte from people, but now I can't get good shimmers. What's going on? This palette is gorgeous. There is not a shade in here that's bad. Every single one of them are good, and when I did my Get Ready With Me, I used every single shade, and I'm still in love with them. I think they're beautiful. The formula in this makes me want to go get another one, even though I specifically got this one because I don't have a lot of the greens and stuff in my collection. I have a ton of warm, so I was like, let me stay away from them. Like, now I want all of them. Like, just give them all to me. This is the liner I have been wearing in my waterline every single day, and I've gotten a lot of people saying, especially when I don't wear any eyeshadow and it's just mascara they're like what is in your waterline up here because it is so black it is the NARS larger than life long wear eyeliner in Via Veneto I don't know why people don't talk about this I love this it doesn't move at all up here and like my biggest thing with the Marc Jacobs one which is phenomenal by the way I love that one but I keep having issues especially now that I do it every single day I didn't used to put black up here and um it keeps getting on my contacts whenever I do it, and then it does not come off my contacts, and then it becomes like an, an ordeal in the morning. I'm like, oh my god, I have to go take my contacts out and get this liner off of them, and it's very frustrating. This one does not do that to me, and it lasts all day, and it's very black. Love it. The last two favorites are not makeup items, but just beauty items. You guys saw this in a Get Ready With Me. This is from Teddy Blake. It is one of their bags. I'll leave the info down below, and I believe she's there giving me like a discount code or something, because this bag is pretty expensive however it's supposed to give you that amazing high-end look without the tens of thousands of dollars you can spend on them but this is what it looks like right here I love the camel color this is held up I mean I have been squishing this into my locker at work and it's still like in good condition it's Italian leather I do believe 
I have such a hard time talking about things that aren't makeup. Like, I'm like, I think it's right. <laughs> But I have actually really been enjoying this. I don't usually use such a big bag, but this one's great. The only thing, there's one thing I do not like about it, and I feel like for the price tag of this bag, it should have it, is that it's not lined. So this is like almost like suede in here with the nice leathery canvas on the outside. But I feel like it should be lined. It comes with the handle and all this stuff, but I feel like it should be lined. One of my favorite things about it though, <laughs> I have been trying to take my iPad to work so that I can start responding to you guys on my break for like YouTube channels and stuff. So this is a keyboard and it actually fits. It was so funny when I bought the keyboard, they were like, don't even try fitting this in your bag. Da -da 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 -da. And I was like, immediately, I was like, no, that Teddy Blake is gonna fit in there. And it does, so it's amazing. Ooh, and then girl. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about these shades? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. These are life. Absolute life. And I have had these for a little while now. I think I bought them like two months ago. And I've been putting them on in pictures for my Instagram. Not for my Instagram. I'm, I'm driving home or doing whatever I have to do. And I've got them on. I'm not like putting them on. And like let me take a picture and then take them off. I blame Kel full, fully for these. These are her fault. She was looking at sunglasses at my work with me. And um, I saw these, these are from Dior. Um, I'll leave the information on them down below because I don't ever remember. I think they're like prism something. I put them on because I saw them out of my corner of my eye because she was trying on sunglasses and I was being bad and I put these on. I was like, oh my God, I love these, but I was like, I'm not one to spend money on glasses very often. I have two pair. I have my Prada and I have these and they were bought over a year apart. And she was like, you need those. And I was like, no, I don't. She's like, you need those. I was like, no, I don't. And she's like, yes, you do. I put them back and I was like, no, but I worked there. So then it was like these Dior glasses were there screaming at me from the opposite side of the store. Like, come get me. I want to go home with you. Please don't leave me here. Why would you neglect me like that? And then I felt bad and then I went and got them. And then here they are on my face and in pictures. Now let's talk about the fails. So for me, I have already taken this product back. It was very mean to my face, did not appreciate that disrespect. And I am talking about the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. And I know that some people love this and I, no, uh-uh. It was so tight and almost itchy on my face and it never went away. And when I say it destroyed my skin, I am still struggling. Like right here, I have a huge spot that's like real dry and red. I mean, it's probably my fault. I did pick at it because I'm a picker, but I had so many bumps after that foundation that I was like, no, 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 no. And then it was so yellow. And then on top of that, it was so tight and it was like, cakey looking and it's just my skin and it's not to say that it doesn't look good on you and your friend and your mom and everybody else but on me it was no bueno and then the last thing this breaks my heart okay makeup forever i'm talking to you you broke my heart this guy right here what color are you i'm gonna pop it out this is shade h which i'm assuming stands for highlight and makeup forever can we just start naming things anyway h102 no, this is so dry. Oh, no. I put it on my face and it looked horrible. Like I wouldn't even like it as an eyeshadow. It's terrible. Normally when you put like a highlighter on your hand, it would be like so shimmery and pretty. No, what were they thinking? And I don't know if the, and, and you blend it out. What is that? What, what is that? No, uh-uh. There was another one. I don't know if the other one is, and there might be more than one. I'm just the ones I was looking at. It was more golden and maybe that one was better, but this one's terrible. And I mean terrible. The other one, like this formula is good. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm talking about the whole thing. It's just the highlight. I just don't like the highlight. Okay, I'm gonna get out of my feelings and I'm gonna let you guys tell me down below what you loved and what you hated this month. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.